Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have Noodles Nail Polish's Summer Fruit Collection, which is releasing July 1st at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the Noodles Nail Polish website. All of these polishes were sent to me to swatch and share with you guys. This is a six piece set. Um, I don't have the prices on this. I don't have the prices on these yet, but when I get the information, I will go ahead and stick it in right here. First up is Melancholy, which is a pastel neon pink crelly with neon pink and green glitters, white matte glitters, silver hollow glitters, and a touch of silver hollow flakies. This does have a looser formula coming from Noodles, but it's not a runny, uncontrollable formula. It's a two to three coater. I went ahead and I applied three coats. I don't know if that was necessary, but I did it anyways. It does need top coat, of course, to smooth out the glitters and to add some shine. And given that this has glitters, it will be difficult to remove. Next up is simply the Zest, which is a pale coral crelly with neon yellow and orange glitters, white matte glitters, silver hollow glitters, and a touch of silver hollow flakes. Again, it does have that looser formula. I built it up in three coats. Yet again, I don't know that that third coat was really all that necessary. I probably could have went in with a thicker second coat and been just fine. It does, of course, need top coat to smooth things out and to add some shine. And I should add that uh, these do dry a little dull, so you definitely want to add that top coat if you don't like a flat finish. And again, it does have glitter, so it'll be difficult to remove. Here we have Partners in Lime, which is described as a pastel neon green with neon green and yellow glitters, white matte glitters, silver hollow glitters, and a touch of silver hollow flakies. This is another one with that looser formula it's not an issue as long as you don't load up your brush I got it opaque in three coats again don't know that that third coat was necessary I went ahead and added top coat to smooth out the glitters and to add some shine and removal was difficult one of my very best is up next and it's described as a cornflower blue crelly with neon blue and purple glitters white matte glitters silver hollow glitters and a touch of silver hollow flakies Again, with that looser formula, it's a two to three coater. I went ahead and applied to three coats. It does need top coat to smooth out the glitters and to add some shine, and removal is difficult. So Grateful is up next, and it's described as a neon violet crelly with pink and purple neon glitters, white matte glitters, silver hollow glitters, and a touch of silver hollow flakies. Same formula as the rest of the polishes. It's a two to three coater. I went ahead and applied three. It does need top coat to smooth out the glitters and to add some shine and removal is difficult. And the last one is Main Squeeze. This is a turquoise neon curly with silver hollow glitters and flakies and neon pink, purple, green, blue, yellow, and orange glitters. Very similar formula to the rest of the polishes in this collection. Another two to three coater. I did go ahead and apply three coats. I really didn't need to though. I should have just stopped at two. It does need top coat to smooth things out and to add some shine and removal is difficult. These are all so, so cute. Okay, so cute. But I probably personally couldn't walk away without getting these three. So here we have Main Squeeze. I love the variety of colored glitters in this. It's very different from the rest of the polishes in the collection. You guys know I love a good pink and of course a neon coral. Like, this is just a me shade. Whenever they come out, I just cannot resist. Doesn't matter how many neon corals I have. Apparently, it's not enough. I love these so much. So, I'm gonna leave all the information that you need in the description box as I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!